Hey guys, this video is a reshoot of a video I previously made a while back. Some things have changed, so I thought I'd do a quick update. This video will guide you through the steps to get your S1 up and running in Pro Tools. In order to get the S1 working, first you have to register it at avid.com. Then download and install the uControl software from your avid.com account. Then you have to enable Ucon in the Pro Tools uh, peripherals uh, Ethernet controllers area, which I will demonstrate uh, right here. So if we go into setup and we go to peripherals, look at Ethernet controllers, and you want to make sure that Ucon control services is checked. So after uControl has been installed and you've enabled Ucon in Pro Tools, now it's time to get this thing working. In order to help visualize things a little bit easier, let's make sure to open up a Pro Tools session with at least eight tracks. They could be any kinds of tracks. Okay, so in order to use the S1, we are going to have to open uControl by double-clicking the E here in the taskbar for Windows. And in uControl, there's a series of tabs here, and on the far left, you'll see Surfaces. This uh, tab is uh, subdivided into two uh, lists, All Surfaces and My Surfaces. The All Surfaces list lists all of the devices that are turned on and connected that uControl can see. The My Surfaces list is a list of surfaces that are actually active. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple scenarios. Uh, we're interested in uh, getting this S1 to work. So what we'll do is we'll highlight this S1, and we could either click and drag it over to the My Services list, or we could click the Add button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add. And if you look at the S1, you'll see that the OLEDs uh, now reflect the tracks that are in Pro Tools. And uh, the faders, if they weren't already at Unity, should either jump up to Unity or wherever the faders happen to be uh, at in your session. My faders happen to all be uh, at Unity. Now, what we're also going to do is a couple different scenarios. So we're going to uh, link a tablet to the S1. Uh, the first scenario we're going to do is if we have a tablet, which happens to be a Fire HD in this particular instance, what we're going to do is we're going to enable that tablet to be the only instance of Avid Control that we're going to be using uh, to control our Pro Tools session here. So uh, I happen to know that uh, this version, this instance of Avid Control is the one that's sitting on the S1 as opposed to this one, which is sitting in the iPad. Uh, so we're going to use this instance, and we're going to drag this one over to the My Surfaces list. And you'll see uh, that on the S1, uh, the Fire HD on the S1 came to life. It's showing us the tracks that are in Pro Tools, and uh, everything is good. So the next scenario that we're going to do is, uh, let's say we have an Avid Dock, with a um, uh, an iPad uh, sitting in the dock, like we have here. And we want the dock and uh, this instance of Avid Control to be the master instance. Uh, and we want this instance here to be a meter bridge. Uh, so to do that, what we need to do first is take the instance of Avid Control uh, that is sitting uh, on the tablet that's on the S1, we're going to take that and we're going to drag and drop it on top of the S1 uh, hardware unit here. So it's not going to do anything immediately. You're still going to see the original Avid Control instance here. But what we're going to do now is we're going to set this uh, instance of Avid Control to be the master instance uh, and also add the dock. So what we'll do first is we're going to add the dock first. It doesn't really matter what order we do this in. Uh, but we're going to add the dock first. And then we're also going to add this instance of Avid Control. Now what you'll see is uh, this instance of Avid Control on the dock is now the master instance. And the instance that's on the uh, S1, on the Fire HD that's connected to the S1, that is now a meter bridge. So basically, that's how we get an S1 control surface working with Pro Tools. Uh, we've also added a instance of Avid Control uh, to work with that S1. And we also added another hardware unit. We added the dock and another instance of Avid Control uh, to be the master instance. And 
have the instance of Avid Control that's running on the Fire HD to be a meter bridge. So hopefully that helped. As always, thanks for watching. And if this video helped you in any way, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot. Catch you in the next one.